Okay, I'm going to forewarn you all. This is likely a long question. But if you have an exam paper, this is going to be worth a lot of marks. So it's worth uh, trying to pay attention as I also try and fight my way through because it's quite a long process. That being said, it's also a very easy and very rewarding process. This is a three-step American put option. We're going to evaluate it because it's binomial. And we're going to do binomial tree method. Um, we're going to find the price of the American option. And we're also going to find the European price. It's quite a rare thing to have to do, find the European price of an American option. So I uh, hope this helps, helps all of you out. Suppose you're offered an American put option expiring in three years with a strike price, K, £62. The stock, at time zero, has an initial price of £60 in the three-year model, which is binomial. In a single year, the stock price may rise by 10% or fall by 5%. So already we can see somewhat of an upward sort of trend. So we can see it's more likely to increase. Uh, as a put option, we're going to be, well, a put is to sell something. Uh, if you want to sell something, let me just uh, calculate this. If you're going to sell something, you want your K value, so 62, you want that to be larger than the eventual, uh, the eventual value of the stock. So automatically seeing this rising, uh, this rising sort of tendency, it puts me, I'm slightly worried. We assume the risk-free interest rate, R, equals 3%. Um, first question is, what is the arbitrage free price for the American put option? So we're trying to value the American put option. Then what we'll do is we'll find the price of the European put option with the same strike price. Of course, the difference, I'm sure you're aware, the difference between American and European is that the American option can be executed at any of the three time intervals, whereas the European option can only be utilized at the very end. So the first thing I recommend doing is to draw uh, a binomial sort of tree. So draw your, draw your problem out. So you start here at 60 and it can go up or it can go down. And then when you get to time step, so we're at time step 0 here, this is time step 1, it can go up again, it can go down again, So now we're at time step two. And finally, it can go up, down, up, down, up, and down. That's not very sort of symmetrical, but that'll have to do. And here we have T3. Okay, so we start with 60. Now we need to calculate the value at each of these individual points. So, we're going to do our workings down here. So if we're going to calculate the value of going up, we have 60 multiplied by 1 plus the rise percentage is 10%. So 1 plus 0 point one is one point one and that gives us of course sixty six so we can write sixty six here if it's to fall by five percent we multiply it by zero point five and that gives us fifty seven once again we're at fifty seven in here and now we look at the sixty six sixty six can go up seventy two Point six. Try and find somewhere to write this in. 72.6 there. And 66 can go down and give 62.7. Now 57 has gone up here, but it needs to go down. So 57 by 0 0.95 is 54. 
calculated the values at time step 2. Now let's have a look at the final values. 72.6 by 1.1, 79.86, and it can go down 72.6 by 0.95 is 68.97. Uh, we'll calculate, well we've already calculated this one, so we'll just do 54.15 by 1.1 is 59.565. And 54, the lowest value we can have, by 0.95 gives us a nice low value of 51.443. So now we've calculated a binomial tree, we want to find the probability that we go up and the probability that we go down. Now these are our risk neutral measures or our risk neutral probabilities and they're denoted by Q, uh, Q up, Q down. Alternatively you may see them as Q1 or Q2, but I like to use Q up and Q down. I'm going to change a pen for this bit so, it's, uh, so you can see the next step. Okay. So, we have 60, and we have the possibility 66 and 57. Now there's a Q up percentage chance it goes to 66, and a Q down percentage chance it goes to 57. However, we have to factor in the interest rate for that year on 60, which is, I believe, 3%. So we have 1.03 amounts of 60 uh, is equal to, now this is by the uh, Martingale method I've uploaded in a separate video, uh, so we have 66 Q up uh, plus 57 Q down and we also have the value 1 equals Q up plus Q down, that's a standard uh, measure value I'm just going to use a new page here. Fantastic. Okay, now if we solve these, very simply, we have Q up is 0.53 and Q down is 0.4, we'll call that 0.47. So as I mentioned earlier, it's slightly more likely to have an upward trend. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our tree and we're going to look at the end product. So if we have a put option and we're looking to sell and we have a strike price of 62, so we have 62 minus S of N or 0, well we can't operate that on here because we'd be losing money. And we can't do it on 68.97, lose money, but we can do it on these two bottom values here. So if we do our payoff calculations, we have max, as I mentioned, of 62 minus the S3 values or zero. Well, for the top two, we have zero uh, because S3 is 79.86. We have zero, as I mentioned, because here S3 is 68.97. However, we have 59, right here, we have 59.565. Uh, so the difference 62 minus 59.565 is a little profit of 2.435. And similarly, for 51.443 up here, we have 
a nice tidy profit of 10.557. So what we want to do now is redraw our binomial tree once more as we're looking to solve it finally now. So we have n, which is our payoff, well, our, our put value for an American put. I'll just draw a little table here. Okay, now we have time step zero. Draw a nice box there. And then we have time step one, two, and three. And what I'll do is I'll extend these to make it a little bit easier. So the original, well, I'll get to that in a minute. We'll work at the end here. So up here we had 79.86 and that gives us a payoff value of zero as we have in our table up here. We have a zero, a zero, a 2.435 and 10.557. Now we want to go backwards in the tree. Now this can be quite tricky. So we want to go backwards and then evaluate each step for two, two factors. The first factor is the payoff. So the profit at this step, because of course in an American model you can have profit and exercise at any step. And here we want to have its value. So what I'll do is I'll use a smaller pen to annotate those values in. Um, okay, let's draw this in. So we want to go backwards and fill in the steps as we go. And what the method is, is that by the time we get back to this step, we'll be able to calculate the original value. Okay, now let's go backwards from here. So the value here was 54.15. And the payoff at 54.15, show you here. So 54.15, 62 minus that is a payoff of 7.85. So we'll draw that in there, 7.85. And at this point, I believe our value is 62.7. So our payoff here is zero. And of course our payoff at 72.6 is also zero. Here we had 66, so we have zero. And at this step we had 57. Now the difference between 62 and 57 is five. Um, our initial value is, I believe, 60. So we actually have a payoff of 2 at the original mark. What we want to do now is calculate the value of each point in the system going backwards. So for this point, we'll call alpha. So what do we have here? We have a 2.435 and a 10.557 with separate probabilities up and down. And of course, we have to take into account the interest rate, so 1 over 1.03 and now we can get to the, the nitty gritty of it so the probability of going up which was 0.53 multiplied by 2.435 so we're calculating the value now and the probability of going down which is 0 0.47 by 10.557 and that gives us a value of 6.04. So what I do is I write 6.04 in here. And I do the same for each step. Of course, up here we have a zero. Here we do have a small value. We have one over 1.03, uh, zero up, but with a down probability uh, of 0.47 by 2.435. And that gives us a tidy little sum of 1.1032. So we'll just call that a little 1.1. Now working backwards 
to 5. Well, here we have a 0, obviously. Now, here we have a 0 up and a 7.5 down. So let's go again 1.03. Uh, lots of 0 plus 0 0.47 uh, multiplied by 7.85 and that gives 3.557 uh, so we'll call that 3.6 and now to calculate the original value 0 up 3 point, well 5 sorry down. So we have 1 over 1 1.03 uh, 0 plus 0 0.47 multiplied by 5 and that is 2.27. So what we've done in 17 minutes is we've calculated the price of an American option. This is the value of the American option. We go backwards and we demonstrate that it's 2.7. However, if you want to find the value of a European option, there's a slight little bit more of work we have to do. For a European put option, we can only calculate it at the final stage. So we have to consider that and we have 1 over 1.03 all squared multiplied by all the possible uh, payoffs. So we have 2.435 which is this payoff value here. Now there are three different ways of getting to this value. We can go up, down, down, we can go down, up and down, we can go down, down and up. As you see here we can go down, up and down, down, down and up, or up, down and down to get to this value. So there are three it's three times as likely that we get to that value than one other value. So we have the value multiplied by the three different methods and we need to go up or down twice. These are by the way our Q up or Q down probabilities here. Uh, and we have 8 over 15 times 1. And the other opportunity we have is this one. How many times can we get to this? Well, the only way we can get here is by going down, down, down. So that's QD, probability of down, to the power of 3, multiplied by 10.557. 10.557 multiplied by QD, which in its fractional form is 7 over 15, here, multiplied by 3. And that, quite simply, finally, is the value of a European put and I believe that calculates out to 1.7583 and um, we know that's correct because the value of the American uh, put option was 2.7 which makes sense because it's uh, more likely that you're going to take your action on your strike price uh, than just at the end. Sorry that was a long video but I hope I've thoroughly demonstrated the methodology behind it. Thank you for sticking with me till the very end. If you have please give me a like because it helps me grow my channel and make more videos for you all. Thank you for watching.